Welcome back, good afternoon, my dear friends. I wanna talk a little bit about things that we can do to keep ourselves fit while we are really busy and working and don't honestly really have time to work out. So I wanna talk about this real quick and I don't have much time, but this is what I thought up to talk about today in my video. So here we go. So first and foremost, I know a lot about staying fit while being super busy. Um, as all of us know, I'm a very busy, very active person. So essentially what I do and what I've done in the past is you can incorporate exercise into your daily routine by very, very simple things, whether you have an office job or a manual labor job or whatever kind of job you have. Now, first off, if your job is manual labor or you're on your feet all day, chances are you're probably getting somewhat of enough activity depending on what you're doing. But just little things that you can do like taking the stairs instead of the elevator or if you have stairs at your home, your apartment, wherever you live, little things like that when you're driving. This is one thing I do every day is I flex my abs, I you know, flex my butt tighten kind of like you know you can even do like your chest like if you have your hands on the steering wheel you can actually like flex your chest <laughs> and work it that way so you can do a little stuff like that and obviously that's not cardio just kind of works your muscles during your lunch breaks at work if you are close to a park if you can walk around your building depending on where you work um, even just walking to and from your car just doing little things if you live super close to your work try walking to work really just every little thing that you do. Um, I guess it was about nine or 10 years ago, I was working about 50, 50 hours a week and then I also had two hours worth of commute time every day. So I was pretty much, you know, working like 12 hour days. And this was like, I'd say about six days a week. So I didn't have time to work out. And so these were just the things that I did and I am a massage therapist, so I was pretty much getting my workout in to an extent, but I also wanted to to stay really fit. So it's kind of hard to do that sometimes and you have to find that balance, but um, you can definitely incorporate a lot of things as well as, you can actually you know watch like YouTube videos, you can look up, if, if you even get a five minute break, you can do like, they have five minute like seated workouts, you can do seated arm workouts, de uh, seated desk, you know, computer desk workouts, you name it, just look it up on YouTube or whatever online and you can find all sorts of stuff to do. So um, there are things you can consider that will help you burn extra calories. Like if you get like an infrared heating pad and put it in your um, in your seat, like uh, in your car or at your office, um, at your desk, that will actually burn some of the fat off of your butt <laughs> and help tone up your rear end and your skin and all that. So you can try an infrared pad, you can try one that vibrates like um, the vibrations will really help to tone up that area so you can do stuff like that and another thing that I recommend to you is like um, you can experiment with different like anti-cellulite creams that's another big thing um, you want to watch with those make sure you don't get any artificial ingredients so I mean really it's endless as to the things you can do but when I was working so much I ended up getting to a point where I was just working out five minutes a day. I was taking five minutes every single night to do a very short workout video. And just in that five minutes of intensity, I saw results almost immediately. So really, honestly, in my opinion, there are no excuses to not staying fit. So I say take some of these tips, go for it, and share with me what kind of tips you have. And as I think of more, I'll let you know. Thanks.